Welcome to the third annual Cherry Film Festival, everybody. We are officially launching our virtual experience. My name is Marco Tokumudi and I am your host. Chola kali tiba, na kiri kiza ma kiri mo, kiri na kina lava tu, kaza mandena, barila mandena. And today I'm joined by beautiful, amazing actors. And on the panel, kuto balbo na, kuto balbo na, kuto balbo na, kuto balbo na, kuto balbo na during lockdown. I know you want to know. So without wasting any time, bye, Tibak. Now when you're interviewing your friend yeah. and now you have to like, you know? Yeah. So Miss DP and yes. Didi, now you know last year, you're back here again. Yeah. Right. How is, how's that? How do you feel? I'll, I'll, I'll allow you to start. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> um, look, it's always an honor and a privilege, um, firstly, to be part of a festival that is everything that is us you know that represents everything that is young black cool um innovative and spunky and full of life and that's why i'll probably be back for um another many a cherry cherry film festival you know what i'm saying i i will not stop because i just i love the vibe and i mm. love more than anything what it does for the young black mind yeah that you know that, that that needs to see beyond their circumstances and mm. so yeah man and when uh, miss dp um you know what i just feel like we are helping especially i'm so excited about the fact that it's here in in Fixburg. In Fixburg, right next to Lesotho. Mm. Um, I feel like we're helping Southern Sutu people. Yes. And yeah. we're, we're putting them on. Mm. And I just feel like, if, if anything, Rabatusa, yes. and they are able to relate to her. Hey guys, yo, it's a little more now. It's a long, you fit a young more. No, you can't be able to be able to be able to be able to Like, you know what I mean? So, like, it's it's very exciting for me. I mean, um, even last year, it's it's just very unfortunate the fact that we've got the whole COVID thing going on. Yeah. Last year, we had the whole interviews with the radio interviews and everything. I felt like we we're able to seep into Lesotho. Yes. Yes. And, um, I'm mainly doing this because of Lesotho. I wouldn't even lie to you. you. I'm such a Lesotho because person. So <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, I yes, grew up I there. That. And I, I, I know a lot of people. There's so much talent in Lesotho. Let me tell you, there's a guy called Uncle okay. Crack. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like the talent in Lesotho. And I feel like it's time for. Linda Destan. Linda Destan! Oh! Oh my word! <laughs> Like they are so talented. It's time. It's time for them to come out. No, yes, Jenny, he, he doesn't even believe it. Oh, what? Yes. No, for real. <laughs> they what? are insane. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey don't do throw this agenda. This no, I, I, no okay. like we're uh, telling you. I was laughing at your reaction. No, I, I was laughing at the reaction. It's not even that deep. It's not that deep. Don't so do that. <laughs> there, I was shocked. In fact, that this Dana. I actually saw him on the SABC News. Yes. And I was just like, oh my gosh, she is representing the sort. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's mainly why I'm doing this because um we are all able to just represent each other. Yeah. We're able to put out each other out yes. there. You know what I mean? Yes. Kikomo bango. Yes. And there's a reason why I speak the suit that I speak. Definitely. You know what I mean? Um I, I could speak Sutu Saval. You know, Saval, Sajoberg, Sasoweto. I speak Lesotho Sesotho on purpose. Because we do need to stand out at um a certain point and mm. yeah i'm just doing this so that we can all stand out and to show you guys that we can do this yeah we can we can do doing this. it yeah. definitely yeah. and we're doing it. it we're doing it i would hello you're already laughing no i was laughing at the reaction <laughs> Boy What's too, so funny like, about that that reaction? No, yeah. the thing is, yeah. 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 you know what I'm saying? That's what I was laughing at. That they both said, <laughs> 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 That's why I was laughing. 
understand. I can see. You don't know that it's Tana. You do. I think you do. But you you don't know that it's him. But like you go, oh, this guy. Yeah. That happens. You are gonna know. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. look, man, I'm always so for like new talents. I'm always yeah. for the you know the talented. That's speaking that's, of being new. Yeah. You're new here. Welcome I'm to Cherry Film Festival. Thank you for welcoming. Hey. Yeah, Thank, you hey. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. It's such an honor. Ta, 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 it's such an honor to have you here. <laughs> it's it's a pleasure being here. Considering your busy schedule. It is so busy. I know, right? Food and beef. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sandy, like, Nick Elzeva, you know, I follow you on social media. Uh-huh. I'm always on your stories. Kishi, we love now. It's a hala. Marabat, my thing's going on. How about you? It's a little stockish. What? I watch everyone's stories. I'm joking. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. So, for what's about South Zebe? Yes. Who is Sandy? Where am, who am I talking to? Where? You're talking to three cameras, so pick a strap. All three. Whoa. All right. All three. Sh- what is going on, Bantwasi Free State? You, Sandy Lumatlango, out here, you know, just kicking it in Chilile. Well, me now, nah, I'm a boy from Mpumalanga, Middleburg, so I do understand. You would see Cherry Film Festival is doing the right. That is what they're doing. And this is something that I've always wanted to do for my own province in Pumalanga because I understand the Guti in these places, it's so difficult to know what is Kipan. You know what I mean? Because I grew up watching television. Nyaibona, it's a magic box to me. You know, like people in Mittelpeck in Pumalanga, they grow up seeing a TV, which is a magic box. They have no idea what goes on inside of that magic box. And so, things like the Cherry Film Festival bring that to you. And it's very important that we do this because, listen, me, where I'm from, it's, it's, it's only two, two, two things that you can do. It's either you are in mining or you are in Capitec. <laughs> That's just it. And I think we need to, yeah, yeah. And I think we need to get away from that. Because listen, if you're not good at math and science, it's not the end of the world. There are artists out there who are working a shop right. And I think it's, 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 it's time that we bring different experiences to yeah. them. And so I do really appreciate what the people here are doing. And in Tengifunu Wiyans and Amikaya. Um, yeah, I went so far. I went deep. Uh, Gwanji, no, what was the question? That's beautiful though. Yeah. Because yeah. you said some profound things, man. Mm. You know, I didn't know you from a small town. Now I thought you were a Jersey guy. You know, you I had to so adapt. Now I just something new. I had to you adapt. Understand? Also so that. So you're from Middle- Middleburg is a small town, right? Yeah. Because I know much. I have a friend also who's from Middleburg. Yeah. You know, and he, he, he also said that it's either mining or capitag. You know, yeah. and we're about that. Mm. And I'm glad you're also about bringing about of change course, into course, your community. Hopefully one day you'll invite us to whatever that you're planning on doing. I will hold you to that. We will come. All right. It's you called know? Ignite the Flame. It's, 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 I, it's I win And now. that's why yeah, this team. festival is about that. Yeah. More than anything, <laughs> we're family. Mm. Especially today, I know we are launching a festival, yeah. but we're family. The, these people are family. Mm. We are here to unite and collaborate. Yeah. Yes. You understand? Because collaboration is important for Cherry Film Festival. And thank you for gracing us with your presence. Thank you for we're inviting me. I really feel special for being here, especially in these times, COVID times. You know what I mean? Like it could have been anybody else. Yeah. And you guys decided to choose me. And I'm blessed. Thank you. Hi, Jay. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. You're smiling. Did you say I hi, Jay Z. Thank you. You're such a beautiful. Thank you so much. Like I said, now I know everyone. <laughs> is this your first time in Facebook? It literally is. How is your it? How, was, so how was your How was your journey coming here? It was, was long, girl. Okay. Let me tell you something. It was lo- it was long, but also very beautiful. Like scenic. I wish I'd seen it during the day. Um, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. And how has it been thus far? That's far, like, I'm, I'm getting little pockets of, like, Vicksburg, which yeah. I really want to, like, indulge in. Yeah. And as an artist, I see, like, rustic things. I see, like, like you know, I see scenic things. I see, like, architecture. I see, and I just want to, like, indulge in it. And I don't know how to do it. Like, so I might just come back. It's a picturesque town. It eh? is. It's a picturesque town, yeah. So, Senki, I know you, but... These people don't really know who you are. So who is Swanky? <laughs> oh God! Where do you come from? What do you do? You know? Wow. Okay. So Swanky is a female. Haha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. No, actually, I yes. love that. I love that. <laughs> She's a female um, published author. Written a book around fees must fall. Oh, um, yeah. And I'm very political in my understanding in life. I have also been a news journalist. I'm nominated as a Liberty Radio Award news journalist. Um, that's my passion, alongside acting. I'm an actress. I love the arts. I'm born in the arts, um, and I will die for the arts. Yes. <laughs> nice. Viva! Hello. Right. 
<laughs> so that's basically who I am. I'm from KZN. I moved up here 10 years ago to study drama and to pursue drama. It's been the best move of my life. It's also the most challenging move of my life. And just speaking back from him, moving from like a town where you can't explore your talents and the love for the arts. It's so nice being in Johannesburg where like that move is so like, it's intentional. It's directional. It's like, you know, and that's why I moved and that's what I'm pursuing and I hope it works out for me. Thank you. You know, I can't wait to get to know you even more. Yeah. So I want to know something. <laughs> when did you realize, oh, you know what? I want to pursue a career in this part. Funny story. So I just found um, an article from 2004 where I won the municipality um, storytelling competition. It's a win. Okay. I'm from Durban. Yes. yes. And in the article, I was very specific. I said to, I said in the article, I'm going to be an actress. I'm going to study at Wits, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be in Johannesburg. All the stuff I ever said, and you, you'll find it's Bria Mail. Be careful what you say with your tongue because it will manifest. Babe, right. everything has happened, and um, I feel like I knew from that young age. I did a poem in 2001 where like the moon is like a banana and I knew from then like I'm gonna be an actress yeah. and everything I've ever done since that day has directed me there nice. I'm not confused about where I am mm. I found myself where I am because of what I've spoken so that is so powerful yeah. that is so powerful and deep <laughs> and when it's Andy left, yeah. uh, are you what you said you are gonna be 10 years ago funny thing Right, um, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing inside because she's a funny story too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think where I am sort of found me, and I say that because of the fact that I'm, I'm gonna say it again, I'm from a mining town, and that was what I was, I thought was what I was supposed to do. Okay. You know, I was taken from grade ten to work in in, in, in a company that, that that actually produces chrome. You know, so I, I, yeah, 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 I was doing that because I felt like that's what I was supposed to do because that's what all the rich people in the town do. I you know, do. like every Friday they're chilling at the park and they're yeah. drinking, and we're like, one day I want to be like that guy. And go to the you park. You know what I mean? Drink. Exactly. And so um, I got taken by this company, and then I started training in grade ten, and then after grade ten I went to Northwest, the Northwest, and I was working in a mine. Oh. And 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 I, I thought to myself, hey, hey, maybe maybe I've made it, but why doesn't it feel like I've made it? You know, because I felt like I did. Because I mean, that's what I wanted, right? Like to get the money and to get just work in the mines because that's yeah. all I know. And so I said to myself, why doesn't it feel like it? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I have a yellow bone girlfriend from the Northwest. I'm I, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm getting money that you I can send it home. <laughs> uh, it wasn't all. I used to sleep yeah. in the garage. So let's not say that okay, I had it all. Okay, okay, you know what I'm saying? I used to okay. sleep in a garage. It's not, it's not okay. like that. But I had some money at, as a 19 year old, yeah. right? And I have a yellow bone girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I'm in the Northwest. I'm sending money home. <laughs> And I'm like, why does it not feel like that? Until God was like, listen, I'm going to choose for you then because you don't have the courage to do so yourself. And so I got electrocuted in the mines where I nearly died. I took on a potential of 13,000 volts into my body and I nearly died. And then God was like, that, that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm taking it as. God was like, you're not supposed to be here. So get the hell out of here. And so when that happened, the mine actually said, yo, let's have a meeting. And we got to fire this guy because he has the potential to sue us. And so they fired me. And then I left, I went back home to really think about my life. And when I did, I was like, okay, no, maybe I'm going to study. Let me go study this thing, this thing called electrical engineering. Let me find it and study it because there's power in studying. And so I went to Pretoria and I studied that thing. And then I graduated. But as I was graduating, I realized that this is not what I want to do. It was, it was calling me, right? I, I was in Pretoria and I traveled to miss exams, electrical engineering exams, to go and cast, you know, like, a, like an ad because I felt like I needed to be there. Literally, I'd get calls, we are entering, this is a factual thing, I'm, we are entering the exam room, where are you? I'm running, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm about to enter the train, the, the, the hard train station right now, where? In Joburg. They are entering the exam room, and I then chose. And so, that thing kept on calling me. And funny enough, I got there and I said, listen, this is what I wanna do. Like, I always, I'm a preacher of doing things that you want to do. And, and I think that's the whole purpose of us living, is for us to do what we really want to do, not what we think is right. Mm. And so, yeah, and so, 
that's where I find myself. I find myself doing what I want to do. And I didn't answer the question before when you asked me who I am and who I am is a hustler. And I call myself a hustler because there is no platform, there is no thing that I'm that's guiding me towards where I'm going. I'm just I'm just following steps of me liking what I do and what I like is what I'm doing currently. And I think that's what anybody should really do. And I think that if you're watching this at home right now, that's something that you should really think about. Do the things that you want to do. Otherwise yeah. why are we here? Yeah man. Speaking of the things that you want to do Shoni? Uh uh. How do I answer? No, I'm saying <laughs> that was so profound, right? How that like was, it was so deep. like you got me in my feelings. You got uh -uh. me thinking, oh guys, am Girl, I really doing the things that do I want to do right <laughs> now? Is God gonna send me a sign one day on some <laughs> that's a lightning on set? You're not supposed to be here. Shoni, go do a link you, saying bye. I'm are not about you this. Doing the things personally, are you doing the things that you want to do at this point? Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, ever since I've known myself, I've always been a person who just wants to be in arts. And I'm very much inspired by my mother. When I used to, so we used to stay in Leondale. Okay. Leondale is in the East Strand, and it's a very nice suburb. Yeah, let me not go into what it's become, but yeah. yeah. So she was like a person who always used to sing in the mirror and always, you know, you um, know, that's where I found mm -hmm. Bo, um, Mariah Carey, yeah. Anita Baker, yeah. you know, everybody that you could find. Yeah. I, I, if you listen to my music, yeah. you'll be like, Definitely. bro, you're, you're, you're young. Why do you listen to such? It's because so of my soulful. mother. I'm very soulful because of my mother. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's when. I figured because I also started, I started looking at her and I was like, this is what I want to do, man. Yeah. Could you and say then, your mom is your role model? She's, my mother is definitely my, my mother is my role model. My mother is my everything. Did she inspire I look at her, my career? mother was supposed to be an artist. Okay, like she used to work, go, my mother comes from Lesotho. Yeah. She hustled her way into Joburg. Yeah. She used to work at Go Market Theatre. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she used to That's work at Go Market Theatre at um, the till. She used to take everybody's <laughs> money. And then she used to clean after, you yeah. know, the people who I call my dads now, Bo, 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 Desmond Dube. Yeah. Um, like, they used to know her. They'd be like, ow. Oh. But it's mad, yeah. you know, she's like, I'm fine, you know, yeah. like, I'm cool, guys, you know. <laughs> but she never got the opportunity, and she always says that I feel like you are living through me. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay. How do you feel when, when, when she says that? That's what makes me proud. Because I know that I'm doing what my mother wanted to do, essentially. And I know that I'm fucking making her proud because yeah. I've been working my ass off do you understand and i mean i look at her house right now and i'm like whoa how did you get you from mm -hmm. I, I feel like if you guys know where my putting is and the house is there it's just like it's very small it's mm -hmm. it's it's made out of cow dung and then you've got the house that you have right now i respect my mother so much and that's why i i, I know that okay it's fine it's cool girl you don't you're not where you want to be but you're doing it for your mom exactly every time haki well and then but then it happened last year well when you're telling your story like how well i don't know like it, you say some profound things and i don't know i don't know yeah, I don't know how work I'm now. Like your face lights up, you know. Like I like that. I think I think I like that. And I, I, me how much longer she will long to keep up with mama. Because because you call in a nang and a lay, my dad will have I Le fatin kalwa kala how. So and speaking of the entertain. <laughs> Didi, you're doing yes. amazing things, babe. You are one of the hard, most hardworking ladies I know in the industry. And the fact that um, so <laughs> not say I can't get more so too. I feel like you do though. Like you do I do. Me. I do. <laughs> and like give a say People like to say acting is spiritual. 
you know like it's a very spiritual thing like please explain that to someone who doesn't know what they mean and I'm happy you're doing amazing things each and every morning regardless of the obstacles and challenges that you come across in your life it's a guy like that drive and dedication that you have when it comes to your career um, I, I think your first question about acting being a spiritual thing plays a, a, a very pivotal role in the second question yes that's why it is in so because I always say in anything that you do and this is not even in the arts where you could, you could be working in any industry in the yet I always say do what you love do what you love do what sets your soul on fire because regardless of the circumstances that are thrown at you you'll be able to withhold sure. those, circum the, the, those yeah. circumstances because you love what you do whereas if you're doing something just for money or for fame or for instant uh, gratification and it's when challenges come you're gonna be like because how it's like I, I will always go back to the fact that I, I, I and maybe it's because I'm an old soul. Mm. Um, since about the age of like three, four, I knew, I knew I wanted to be in entertainment. At first I thought I wanted to sing, but I was like... <laughs> 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 she but do you, have, do, you have a, do you have a voice? Though? But no, 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 no. It's because I love music. Okay. I thought I wanted to sing because... Um, my dad, who's one of my, ah, oh, my dad has influenced my 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 musical, whatever, yeah, so journey. much journey, so much that I thought I wanted to sing, but I was like, <laughs> <laughs> then you sang and you're like, never no, mind. I also want a million bucks. It's uncle Tatsli one. Um, but then because of my personality and spunk and everything. I then soon realized how acting is where I'm supposed to be. So I knew that from, I, I, I've always been an entertainer. You know those kids where the parents go, Didi, Didi, when they visit us at home, <laughs> 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 Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say No, auntie ma. DP. I like the fact that we do that. So he said something also profound. Something, and then I went over it. No man, this is not, not for my calling. Would you say acting was your calling? Because acting is definitely my calling, mm -hmm. without a doubt. And even all the work that I did, yes, I've done a lot of work in events. I've done a lot of work in, you know, uh, stage production, stage management, and all these things, the behind the scenes stuff. I've done work there. And it's amazing because like even now, like if you call me and like last year, for example, Afropunk called me to be a content nice. uh, producer for their live mm. edition of the nice. SABC show. Mm. And I was like, okay, cool. Because I've worked in that field before. I know what it's like, but I know what my first love is, mm. you know. Um, and, and that's just the thing. When you know, when you know what you're doing and what you're supposed to be doing, it's so the challenges that come with it and our industry much like we touched on last year can be very challenging because yeah. how your, where your next job is going to come from you know there's just a lot but if if god has seeded something in you and he said my child this is where i want you regardless of all the nonsense that you will face you will know that you are divinely protected and abundantly provided for ah. at all times. Yeah, you know? is so so in 2020, I'm I'm or at the end of 2020, I'm celebrating 15 years as as a theater professional. Nice. Next year, 2021, I'm celebrating 10 years as a television professional in the industry. You know? Well done. And these are things that I didn't even see coming like I was like, hey, Hello, Jerez. Hello, 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 Hello,
you still look good enough to mm. take on another 10 years of it because when you were and thank you yes <laughs> but mainly because i i strongly believe when when you're doing what it is that you're supposed to be doing when when you listen to god's redirection and god saying no go there do this do yeah. that you'll find your feet sure you know you Can will I find just your feet add on to that yeah sorry to disturb you yeah. now all three of us mm. went to the same high school Went to really? NSA. Malema. When I learn one, two, three. <laughs> oh, okay. The so Khalilitsaban. Put Khalilitsaban. Um, you know what? I can't say Khalilitsaban. This old lady was. <laughs> <the host. laughs> okay, I'm, I'm joking. But she was um, a senior. She was my senior, okay. and was then it was me. Oh, and okay. She was both our seniors, and then Swanky was behind us. You would think she's older than me, but literally she's younger than well, me. She's younger than me. You don't say. I swear, she's literally mature. younger than me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's maturity, babe. I just think it's that I'm just young. Go spirit. <laughs> You're not an old soul. Babe. I think it's an old soul thing as well. But um, what because I'm I trying to say. I don't think I would get along with you too. Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. were just young, rambunctious, just 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 hanging around. Hang around. There's, there's, there's something yeah. about you. There's yeah. something. There's you, something you know what? No, I think it's the passion. Number one. And where I'm going is also at the fact that all three of us hustled our way into this industry. Now, you need to understand something about this industry. As females, it's very hard. Explain that. I think, especially because we are females, you need to think about the fact that all three of us are females. Yeah. Okay? People are trying to sleep with you. Definitely. Potato yes. um, cultures. I don't, yes. I, don't, I, don't, I don't like you. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not, well, I'm not, I mean, I'm I'm not no, isolating you, but, no, but I'm, like, I mean, put I'm me speaking. In as well. That's, um, I, I relate. Yes, I know that you I'll, relate, I'm but I'm speaking you. specifically yeah. for females right now. now. Mm-hmm. Nah? Cool. I'm not trying to isolate you. Yeah. Nah? Um, but it, it becomes more sensitive when it's females, especially of course, because of yeah. also the gender-based violence and everything that's happening. Um... Everybody segregates us, so therefore they take advantage. Whereas they try to sleep with you in order for you to get a job. Of course. Now the way that I hustled, I hustled by going to clubs. So I'm a singer. I'm a house singer. Ne? I used to go perform at clubs, in which I also forced my way into that. You know, be like, "Hi, you look a fake. I know how to sing. Please, can you take me seriously? Um, anything. I like your songs. You know." And they would just be like, "Oh, shame. <laughs> you know, just just get on the stage, just sing." And that's how I started, you know, yeah. singing. And then the next person would take me seriously and be like, "Oh, well, she performed yeah. there, so yeah. maybe we should take her seriously." Yeah. And then it just started being that thing yeah. where I got into acting. Mm. You know what I mean? But it's not that I met some casting director. Have you, have, have you ever met anyone? I've never met anybody. Who's seen Who's me? Also, no, no listen, to the, listen to my question. Uh, you meet a director. And you go in a clinic in a script for when I'm like, you could put this I have never. Why are you Very getting emotional? Question, actually. <laughs> Why are you getting emotional? Because I realize that you know this is thing? a very hard question. It's hard because Why is it hard? In, in, in most cases, a director or anyone who's trying to do funny things will never say that I'm trying to that come to my house and do it. Yeah. They, they, they find a tasteful way of saying it that makes you believe, well, hey, this is not, no, no, he, he wouldn't do that. Yeah. No, this is professional. Yeah. You know, and then you get there and then you're like, oh. But let me tell you, I've been in a situation. Do you know who put me on, girl? Let me tell you something. Like, oh my gosh. After all the hustling, there's a man who met me on a video shoot. He happened to be the director, Mandla N. Yeah. Oh my God. He was like, you need to get on TV. Yeah. Um, Let's do this. Yeah. That man didn't do anything funny. He never spoke to me again. He just got his team to call me again and be like, get on the show, you know? And that's where I met him, actually. Um, I met him, I think, the f- sixth time I was yeah. shooting with Mandla. He and came a- through oh, yeah? and we were acting on the same show. And you, speaking of you, 
joining him. Have you ever been approached by a female director or anybody, like a casting director? Or have you ever felt like you need, you need to sleep with someone to get a specific <laughs> Interesting. This is never, ever discussed. Um, yeah. Same story. Yeah. But um, on my come up, uh, I was a model okay. when I started out. Because that's the, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> so, so I was a model, you know. That's because I mean, like, like I was clutching at straws. On Instagram. <laughs> Sandy Lam on Instagram, please follow. Stop me, it! Follow me. Oh wow! Okay. Anyways, I was, you know, when you when you when you when you're on a hustle and when you're on a climb up, you're clutching at straws, right? You're just trying to, because there's no there's no laid out plan for you, so you are constantly just reaching for things, and so uh, you know modeling was a way that I could dive in because people were like, maybe you should try modeling, you know, or, you know, try modeling. Everybody kept on saying that and I didn't really understand it, but I got an agency and I did. And as I was a model, uh, it's, it, 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 it was extremely difficult, extremely difficult to find my way, you know, because there's a lot of models. There's a lot of, actually, Good there's a lot guys. of people just trying to do stuff. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of people trying to figure their lives out. Yeah. You know, I, you, I hate isolating them like that because honestly, everybody's just trying to figure their life True. out. So there's a lot of those. And, 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 and there's, 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 then you meet people who say they will give you this and that and that, and they do. And then afterwards, they, wa they expect payment for it. And that's one of those things. And like you were Have saying, you been in that situation I'm, I'm getting, to, I'm okay. getting to that. Like what she said, Uguti, it's, it's a very, it's a very romantic way that they do it. It's not a, hey, hey, you know, mm. it's a very romantic way that they do it. I remember doing a, a show, a runway show. I'm not gonna say any names, yeah, but I remember doing a runway to. show, and I thought I was doing it. I was the one doing it because of the fact that I, 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 I qualified for it. You know. And then afterwards, this gentleman um, said, hey, so, you know, I did this, you know, what you going to do for me? And I'm like, what do you talk, what are you talking about? What is this? Come on, maybe, maybe a little pip print, you know, oh just or send a little pip, you know, let's, let's just send a picture or whatever. And I'm like, oh, you are the people that they warned me about. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think in that moment then defines what your what your future will be like, uh, the decisions you make. Because I think the biggest thing that I believe in is is, is, is is self. Self is my belief. And I believe that the things that you decide then trigger whatever happens in the future. Uh, we like as humans taking away the blame and laying it on other things. And of course we, we should do that, definitely, because we you know it's 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 we don't know what's going on. But self is very important. And that in that moment, I decided, Uguti, who am I going to be in the next five years if I make these decisions this way versus that way? And so I think God has, has blessed me because of the decision that I chose to make. I decided to cut ties with that gentleman. And, and there's been a lot. I've, I've counted about 15 of wow. those experiences. Wow. And but my decisions in the moment of them happening then fulfilled me and kept me going you know otherwise things like that they really do know how to diminish the soul and because we are creatives we live off of the soul yeah. and so a diminished soul you'd see it you know and so to answer your questions yes it did happen and <laughs> to answer m your questions no I did not participate. Because <laughs> uh, that was going to be my next yeah, question. No. Have you did ever... You? Was I that, mm, maybe. I did not participate. <laughs> it's all about the decisions. Really, really do decide what fulfills you the most. And then you will be living a happy life. I'm and not happy right now, but eventually, shit, we'll find this happiness thing, hey? We will. <laughs> yeah. I mean, happiness is not a destination. Of course. Yeah. It's a journey. It's not, yeah. it's not a place I'm going to get to tomorrow or in the next five yeah, years no yeah. I, I don't i don't think happiness is yeah it's a, it's a destination you know? that's something i'm learning right now constantly learning that because i think as i'm as i'm talking about you know doing the things that you like doing it's something that goes beyond just your career i think yeah. it goes beyond that i think it's it's, it's also in your daily decisions i yeah. think i think daily or yeah. every minute you have to do what fulfills your soul and i read a lot of books um that talk about choosing the highest the, the thought that makes you vibrate the highest 
highest frequency. Exactly. And you have to consistently be choosing that thought. Absolutely. And that is what God has placed inside of you as a guideline. Because I was telling Swanky just now that we're blind in this planet. Like we're, we're living life not knowing what the future holds, right? Mm -hmm. And so God put us on this planet for a reason. And what, what, so what would he do? He gives us guides. And the guides are inside of us. Mm -hmm. Guides are emotions. Meaning, if you get burnt, I'll make an example, if you get burnt by a stove, you know not to go to the stove. Mm -hmm. So if, you do, if something that you don't like happens, you don't go there anymore. So the most important thing is, that's what I'm preaching now and that's what I'm, I'm, I'm living now, from today even, is that always consistently choose what makes you feel right, what you like doing the most. She yeah. said it, so would see, yeah. you are living a fulfilled life if you are liking what you're doing. That's what she answered with the question, yeah, Bona. And so, yeah, I think I think that's what brings happiness, yeah. not the destination of the fact that happiness is there somewhere. I think the happiness is choosing the moment, is choosing what I like in the moment, yeah. and being real to it. So, Swanky, speaking of decisions and choices, and basically what he was talking about, <laughs> um, what decisions are you currently making in bettering yourself? in the future or decisions that 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 you're making in making sure that you become a better actor in the future listen that's such a hard question because um i'm constantly making decisions to be quite honest and i feel like we should all be constantly making decisions right um i'm making a decision to honor myself i'm making a decision to be true to myself and i'm making a decision to research about what I am doing. Mm. So I want to speak back to what he said, right? Um, coming from a small town, wanting to be an actor, I have some advice and I'll place that on the side. First of all, as a young black female in the industry, um, man, okay, I'm about to set up for this. Just, just say it. <laughs> yeah. Say it with your chest even. That's it. First of all, <laughs> first of all, um, I think people that want to come into the industry that are not from places where they can get a lot of information about what we do need to hear from us. Yes. First of all, don't pay to be an actor. True. Don't pay for an agent. Don't pay like to be part of an agency. It's not it. Second of all, we spoke about couch casting. As a female in the industry, there are a lot of people, and you're vulnerable. There are a lot of people that are come through at you like, yo, similar to what they've spoken yeah. about. Um, I can offer you this, 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 and that. Truth be told, there are a lot of us that want to do what we do. Sure. There are a lot of us that want to be what we are. Um, it's a lot of hard work, and it's a lot of knowing yourself. Part of the decision making is, man, you don't, you, you don't have to, ish, don't, you don't have to toil like that. Though. Man, you, you don't, don't have, have to, to toil, you, yeah. You don't have to sacrifice who you are or, or your morale yeah. for wanting to do yeah. what you want to do. Um, and, and I think that that goes, sorry to interrupt, I think that goes Go across, across the board. Whether you're in entertainment, whether you're in corporate, where, wherever you are, you, you should never have to sacrifice your essence in order for you to be and to live in your essence. And and I think that that's it's basically conforming. Yeah. Sort of Apart way. from just conforming, I think just with the the culture of corruption. Yeah. Mm. In our country, it doesn't just end like in parliament or in politics and whatever. It exists, it like exists throughout everywhere. all spheres. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think, you know, just to add on to what you said, yeah. um, uh, speaking about essence, um, you don't have to sacrifice your essence. Yeah. I think it's important to know what your essence is. You don't and have to sacrifice your morale for your essence. Fair, but yeah. what I'm saying is that, um, uh, uh, well, just knowing, yeah, what knowing your self. Is, yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing is that you don't know what you're sacrificing if you don't know it. Mm -hmm. And truth be told, sorry. And I know I cut you mid sentence, right? I'm looking at you. I know. But I am joking, yeah. But truth be told, you know what? A lot of us young people don't really know what our essence is, yeah. as he's about to say. And you also don't know what you're about to sacrifice before you do it. So um, to get into the industry, don't listen to people that are about to say to you, you need to do A, B, C, or D. 
A, B, C, or D. A, being opening your legs. Let's be honest. B, being, um, if you come from a small town and you know that this is what you want. Bro, like. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. And, and going back to essence. Yeah. What, what, what were you going to say before she called you? Oh. <laughs> I'm just playing. So I hate I'm this guy. I'm just not Bessie. I'm playing. I'm playing. You will not. Yeah, Jesus. Okay. Come on now. Me and Coach Oda. 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 So, no man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go for it. So, so what, what I wanted to say is that, Uguti, um, uh, uh, the, the biggest thing that we need to normalize is to find self is to actually sit down and really start to think about the things that we don't think about because we're just so distracted. Everybody's just so distracted to the point where they don't even know what their, their favorite color is. You know, you ask a person, what, what's your favorite color? They, don't, they can't answer you. That's, that's a problem. That means they don't know themselves. And now how are you gonna succeed in a world that requires you to sacrifice things if you don't even know your value? How do I know myself as an 18 year old? Okay. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Guys, 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 you guys can guys, we're, not, we're not having no, this uh, argument man, right now. She can do that. It's no, fine. But can do I, that. I can sort of hear no, what no, they're no. saying. Because I also get it, but we're not going to have this argument right now. The we're thing, trying to get light. You Why know the thing arguing? is, right? Not arguing. As, as media people and a lot of people that are in the industry, I've been a journalist, I've been a writer, I've been an actor. So from all spheres of life, I kind of understand how things are in cul like you know how what in cul like bre it eh, encapsulates. Encapsulates. Yeah. But to answer the question about how what how am I supposed to know what to do as an eighteen year old? You come from Middleburg. The You're an eighteen year old and you wanna give advice to someone. What the do you say? The biggest thing is to not expect to know what you want to do at that age. Okay. Um, life is about living. And I think that's the, in, that's the easiest thing that we can yeah. teach people, that life is about living. Yeah. Let's stop trying to put logic behind life because 2020 happened and it proved to yeah. us, Uguti, oh, we're not Expect in control of nothing. Unexpected, it's all fugazi. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's fugazi, you know. Yeah. That and film, speaking that's of 2020, guys, yeah. lockdown happened. And everybody in the entertainment industry was seeing flames, literally. You know? And a lot of people look up to you guys. And they want to know, man, what did you guys get up to? We what did you do? Together. What did you do to, to stay sane even, you know? You know, um, I, I found myself like during the lockdown doing a whole lot of interviews. <laughs> How's COVID treating you? Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is everything fine? <laughs> um, and I always say this, the industry for me personally, has never really given me a platform of comfort. Yeah. Where I know at the end of the month, I'm getting a set salary. Even if that has happened, it happened for a, a short, short period, period of time. time. Yeah. And I had to be cognizant of the fact that this is going to come to an end mm. until my next best, best thing. So I've never been in a situation where I've been comfortable. Mm. So for me, in as much as yes, COVID inconvenienced everyone. And I say, uh, 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 COVID was such a hack because yeah. it inconvenienced the CEO of, mm. a, of many a companies mm. who've got a, a well-oiled machine yeah. that came to a screeching halt mm. down to the beggar in the street mm. who now is dealing with less money mm. because there were less drivers mm. or less people going up and down. Mm. Everyone got inconvenienced. But there has never been a time when I have been grateful for the field of work that I'm in, especially during COVID, because comfort hasn't trained yeah. For me, COVID or, or the inconvenience of COVID is pretty much the artistic stance Yeah, our industry. Mm. You don't know where your next is coming from. Yeah. And there are times when it's going to be quiet. Yeah. There are times when it's going to be dire and you don't know where you're starting from. But you always, there's always an opportunity out there somewhere. You just yeah. have to apply your mind and be out there, yeah. you know? Um, and I think for me, COVID also showed me the importance of networks and of knowing people and of establishing relationships that I've established because all the work that I got during COVID was literally due to 
Yo, like I, I remember I did a one woman show. Yes. Um, for the <coughs> market theater. theater. Yes. Virtual show. Let's speak. Let's speak about that. How was that during lockdown? Even James Mabo called me okay. at like six p.m. I think it was a Wednesday night. My darling, you know, we, we can't let theatre die. Yes. We can't let theatre uh, die, my darling. And it's so funny, it sounds like him. So I was thinking, so, so we're working on a project where, where we're going to have many a young artist. My yes. darling, I want you to do something for wow. me. I want you to do something in Sosoto for me wow. because, and, and th those are the, so going back also to decisions. When I walked into the industry, um, I, I recognized very early in the stage where it doesn't matter whether I am a bit graduate or not, of who are graduates. What what X factor am I bringing into the industry? And my X factor in Ele Yes. You know? Yes. And that in turn has in as much as I felt at some point okay, it, it limited me mm. and it closed so many it doors. Mm. I also realized okay, that is my essence because I'm in a position right now where if a role is written for Anguni uh, or whatever speaking person and I come and I audition and I kill that role, many a times they have shifted that role's storyline to, to fit a, a, a yes. sort of speaking yes. person. Yes. So, yes. you know, uh, uh, in lockdown, and that's a decision that mm. I made. Um, and I stuck to it, the road less traveled. Mm. And so when the likes of Bo James Mwaba said, listen, I want something so, 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 but borders are closed right now. And, and, and I want a so, so to speaking person who can speak to something that is like Lesotho, our backyard, yeah. but we don't have access to yeah. it anymore. Give me that, give me you, you know? Um, and, and, and I got to work with Nabo Mashiani, nice. who is oh, wow. a director. Wow. Born and bred from the Free State. Yeah. She's amazing. Oh she my is. God, I love you, Nabo. Um, <laughs> um, and, and James put that together and he mm. said it's going to be a virtual thing, whatever, whatever. Standard rates apply, everything, everything. It's just that it's not going to be your traditional four week rehearsal yeah. period. It's going to be two weeks mm. because it's virtual yeah. and it's shorter yeah. and, 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 and. But COVID for me wasn't as tough as a, a year where, 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 where we were operating naturally under normal. It wasn't as tough for me. Yeah. But it's because I have learned, Jorge, as artists, we are our own entrepreneurs. Sure. You are the business. Sure. So treat yourself like the business. So mm. when the economy goes off, you need to find innovative ways. And as an artist, you are at an advantage because you are a creative, essentially. Mm. So you should always have something up your sleeve where you can go, hmm, what can I do? That's, that's the essence, is that you're not doing stuff from a textbook where if they say, here's COVID, you yeah. can't do anything. Yeah. And you're like, oh, no, I can't. No, you can do something. You definitely can. Purely because you're an artist. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <coughs> and then when I... Because I wanted it to go oh, like oh, yeah. that. You know, COVID for her wasn't as tough <coughs> as I <coughs> imagined. For Wena, you know, um, like I said earlier on, Sandile had like this thing that he was doing on his Instagram where he would interview artists yeah. and he would ask us the same questions yeah. as to how's COVID treating you. It it was a it was a bit tough. I think like I think I'm the only one who struggled a little bit. You're not the only and, one. And and I and I strug I, I thank God for that You're because I know people struggled, you yeah. know, because I was like booking gigs. I was doing my music like yo I was so busy throughout the whole lockdown I didn't experience lockdown because I was so busy recording nice. and writing you know I remember there were times where I would sleep at about 8 a.m. I've been up <coughs> since I'm sorry I'm clearing my throat <laughs> no, it's not about come on now <laughs> But mind your lingo. Um, I've I've been I had been up like throughout the whole of COVID. That's I so swear nice. to God, when people would sleep, cause you know there was a point where we lost our sleeping clocks. 
we didn't we know did. what time we, we sleep, we what's Even going our on. Patterns were screwed. So my my ex fiance back then would be like, "How daughter? You know, kunin upala." Babes, I was here, like, writing, 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 and then I'd record, I'd record, I'd record. So I had, like, a little sound system thing. Yes. So that I know, Uguti, when I get into studio, this is how I want it to sound like. So I'm very particular with mm. how I want things to Which sound like. Good. And, um, yeah, so I'll do that. But, yeah, COVID for me was, I think it was a blessing for me. I won't even lie. Nice. I'm sorry. I know it hacked a lot of people. Guys, yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, it hacked it's everybody, good. but to me, I think it was like an opening where it was like, yes. "Dupi, get your shit together." Yeah, and let's exactly let's work, and did. that's all I did. That's I worked amazing. throughout. Yeah. And then when I sent I am gonna go. I was trying to, you know, for sound sake. So. I heard you're also doing those lives. So your question, your initial question was, how did you, how did you keep saying yeah. during lockdown? Yeah. And my answer to that is. Um, <laughs> I barely was saying through lockdown. And I say this as truthfully as I can. Um, lockdown was horrible. Yeah. It was a horrible experience. Um, you know, working for something for three years and accumulating what you've accumulated. And my biggest fear this year, by the way, I always said this, is the fear that something was going to come and take everything away from me. And I've been working for about three, four years, five years to start to accumulate what I had and then see it seep through my fingers without me being able to do anything about it with literally my hands tied behind my back. That, for me, being my worst fear was the worst experience that I could ever go through. And so um, I say this in a bad way, but it's also maybe in a good way because the person who I was before lockdown was a person who was very scared of what might happen. Meaning I'd pick my words, I'd pick the things I do, not because I like doing the things that I do. And I think that's the whole thing, the, the conversation that I'm trying to relay right now, is that I do things because I thought they were right. I really used logic to things that, that really I was supposed to use emotion towards. And so the, the, the lockdown, the previous lockdown me was a very thinking person. And the post lockdown me is a very feeling person mm. and and i find richness in that and mm. and and funny enough Im immediately after lockdown when i started feeling my way around life uh things started happening quicker than i could have thought them to happen yeah. you know what i'm saying and i think that's the biggest thing about man manifestation i'm not going to go there is that you can think things and yes they will manifest but they'll take forever yeah. but if you feel things then they'll manifest immediately. Literally after lockdown, not even in lockdown, like when I really had this epiphany around July-ish, that was when I had to make the biggest decision of my life, right? My car fucked out. It's all good. My car, like, fucked out. I'll say it again. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a decision to make. I had sa my, my last of my savings was to either pay for two months of my rent or pay to fix my car. I had to make that decision. Logically, it would make sense for me to pay the rent. Mm. Uh, you know what I mean? And that was the thinking me. The previous thinking me would have done that. But my, 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 my feeling self was said, no, fix your car. Because you have a car still to go to. Mm -hmm. Logically, it wouldn't make sense. But thinking me, feeling me said, okay, uh, fix the car so you can go to the car thing. Yeah. And I went to the car thing. I fixed my car and I went to the car thing and then I got scandal. Right. Ah. So that right? you can pay rent. You can pay the car you know what I'm as well. Yo, I'm not even done. <laughs> wow. And then uh, two weeks later, Netflix. I landed Netflix. Hey! <laughs> but, but I have to drop <laughs> this. It's called How oh, to Run. You. Wait, it's called How to Run Christmas the Wedding on Netflix. 190 mm -hmm. countries. 190. Yeah. Oh. 195 countries. million subscribers are going to be watching me because okay. of the decisions that I decided to feel through. So yes. that is my biggest point today, if, if, if there was yeah. a point, is to do the I'm things inspired. that make you feel good. I'm and inspired. that's the whole purpose. That's what I believe. That's the whole purpose of existence is to do the things that make you feel <laughs> so good. good. Otherwise, you're dead. Stop doing the things that you hate doing. And uh, that's something that I'm really going to uh, really preach. Because uh, I hated being in the mines. Yeah. And then I stopped that. Yeah. 
if I had not you stopped that. You got lighter that, after you left. Yeah. I went yeah. Did I get lighter? Oh. And you, you have to but, 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 but you know, just, just to add on what you're saying in terms of feeling stuff, um, and which is something that I carry with mm. me. Yeah. Like I think I'm also going to carry yeah. that with me because I think a lot. I'm an overthinker. Yeah. Nah, yeah. I think and, I'm and still on that phase. And that's where we ruin you know, things. And I, yeah, I, wanna, I also want to evolve into the feeling person. It's because not, you know evo- what, it's not you, an evolution. You know what feeling does to you? Yeah. It, make, it, it, allows, it allows for intuition yes. to kick in. Oh, so when you're intuitive, when you feel, in, you, you, don't, you don't think of intuition yeah. you yeah. feel yeah. intuition yeah. Yeah. you become intuitive yeah. so if something doesn't feel right you know uh, yeah and if something feels right but it scares you you yeah. know because you're intuitive yeah. to Navigate. move through it so yeah. I, like that. I, I, can, I like that i like that and to answer yeah. her in closing to yeah. answer her <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is she said she wants to evolve into that and i yeah. say that it's not an evolution okay. it's realness yeah. it's not an evolution you know, they say to raise your vibration, you don't do too, you don't do more things, you do less things. Mm-hmm. And the reason why they do, you do that is because the more you do is what lowers your vibration. You, wow. you were born, a, 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 you were born with a high vibration. You were born a happy person. The things and the experiences throughout life have made you who you are. Therefore, stop doing the most and do what's true to you. Absolutely. You know, and stop that's doing the most. yeah, and do what's true to you because. Woo! Yeah. Preach. Swanky. Wow, you're just dropping bars. <laughs> I feel like he's studying. Bars are bars. What? Sandile studied <laughs> for this. You know, I'm like, how I'm do just we like, continue <laughs> like that? Should we just close the show I'm and just say bye, guys? No, okay, I'll keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no. So sorry. Swanky. I'll keep quiet. Everybody is just telling their beautiful sto- <laughs> stories, Man. you know, positive stories. Okay. <laughs> During lockdown, before I applied the same uh, job that they booked, yeah. Netflix, How to Ruin Christmas, I had packed up my bags at the beginning of the year and I called her, funny enough, Utidi, and I said to her, I'm going to China. To be a language I crazy. had been an actor for about 10, 15, I don't know how many years professionally, and I had gotten to a point in my career where I thought that I was supposed to progress and I didn't progress anymore. Right? You've been working in theatre for almost since I was probably well, 13. And I've been working in television for six years. Yeah. And I packed up my bags and I was like, I'm gonna to go to China. This this is you are in China. To go and to go teach girl? drama. Oh, okay. Because I realized that the income in South Africa wasn't sustaining me in the point like to the point where I could sustain myself. I'm independent, I'm a woman, I haven't lived at home since I was nine. Yeah. There are a lot of things happening. Yeah. Get there. I China equal my border, COVID. No, like get there. Oh, as in like as in, okay. processions, okay, you know. Okay. China closed their borders. What do you do as an actor? It's COVID, you're broke, there's nothing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. I do what? Move back home. So how do I keep saying in COVID? Yes. Meditate, write, and then I keep unsaying. Because the reality of an artist is that there are gonna be moments where you are going to be unsaying where you don't know what to do with yourself. You don't know if you should pray. You don't know if you should like, cry. cry. Sometimes you don't even should, like, should I eat? <laughs> like, you know? True. And um, I just pushed on. I lived a whole eight months not knowing what to do with myself until I booked this Netflix, like, this Netflix gig. How to ruin Christmas. Say it. The yeah. wedding. Yes, the, the wedding. wedding. The wedding. <laughs> the wedding. Don't, don't forget part. that part. Don't forget and that part. You have pockets as an artist, and I think I was trying to elaborate on that way. You don't really know where your income's going to come from. Didi said this yes. very well. Yes. You don't really know what your sustenance is going to come from. Mm-hmm. But it, it, at the end of the day, you need to eat. You need to breathe. So you need to find a way to keep yourself sane. What do you do? Go back to your essence. Remember who you are. Why do you do this? Is it a calling? It is a calling. Am I called for this? Yes, I am. Is what it do I purpose? Of course. I tell stories for a living. That's what I do. I yeah. do it well. I yeah. tell my own story for yeah. a living. This is yeah. my story. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So lovely. This is my wow. this is my story. You know, and wow. speaking of stories to tell, I'm sitting with three people who are casted for a Netflix series. Guys, Netflix is big. I want to be on Netflix. One hundred and ninety countries. How, baby. guys? This is. Oh, oh, by the way, 
just to tell you, I also auditioned for How to Ruin a Christmas Wedding. Nice. She got my part. <laughs> <laughs> she got my you part. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> so, how was the experience? Should I, should I start? I start, want, man. And I, I want She's you guys to finish. finish. No, I feel like you will never finish. finish. You'll never finish. Are we, are we closing? Yeah, we literally like, like we've been here for 80 hours. This is a minute on this These humans one. Are so I want 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay, clean. Okay. <clears throat> Does it start now? You can. Okay, cool. It's going to take two minutes. No, I'm not. 30 seconds. Trust me. It was one of the biggest spiritual experiences of my life spiritual. yes and i say this because of the fact that it's interesting how covid happened and and, and and when we're shooting we're shooting under lockdown situations meaning we're in a bubble that means we had these human beings here to talk to talk to you know it became something like therapy it really did where we're confiding in humans that we've, we, we we've never really met but because that's all we have and we're forced to be that way and so we started having therapy sessions among each other and and i think that's what combined us and we became family there but it was such an, a, a revealing thing and i say this all the time to them uh, i say it a lot to Mutati, my brother you know what i'm saying i say this to him a lot because i feel like i felt real love there and and for the first time i wouldn't say for the first time but i saw it there and that is the reference point to the rest of the other love situations that I have. Because if I'm not gonna feel like that in there with you or whoever, then 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 it can't be real. And so how was the experience? Love is the experience. Nice. So there's love. When uh, what did you come up with? I was inspired. I knew that a God existed because you can easily sit at home and feel like there's nothing for me to do, I'm jobless, whatever. And then when you get that, you're like, okay. And then you meet these people. My gosh, I've met her in a casting set. I've met her in a set and she's like my sister. I don't know what you are. My sister, my lover, Your whatever. Family. You know what I mean? Then they're these people. And you realize that in sitting and waiting in opportunities, there's always a rainbow at the end. I found my rainbow. I enjoyed it. Um, and I can't wait for people to see because there's love poured into it. Yeah. When is it coming out? Uh, 16th of December. We are allowed yeah. to talk can, about can it. Can you ask yes. me? Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> when is it coming out? No, but you didn't but ask me. That's your yeah. direction. No, I can say it's your direction. And I can talk about it. I love this. Um, so it's coming out on the 16th of December and on 119 countries. Nice. So you guys are going to catch it like all over worldwide. How do you feel, Shoni? I'm so excited. As 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 as. What's wrong with you? Talk about what you're about to Africa. I'm extremely excited because I feel like um like like he mentioned earlier on, you know that he had been like on specific shows and now he's like yeah he's just like whoa you know what I mean? I feel like we all on that whoa moment, but like it's putting us all out there like. We are all out there. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Like legit. Like we're going to show you guys what we're made of. You know, so sometimes you don't have to say much, man. Like yeah. just watch us. Like we, we like you don't want to talk too much. Just just watch us. Okay, so one word. He came out with love. Her was inspiration and winner. Your word? Grow. Grow. No, not growth. Like grow. grow. Okay. Grow. Interesting. Oh, yeah. interesting. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. I must like, say though, um, sorry. Yeah, it's all good. Cause how, like how <laughs> did that like, like I feel like it might. No, it but might and and then she's mm. right. What she's saying, bro. Because I also feel like in the industry, as soon as you you ever make the mistake of reaching the point where you think you've made it, mm. is where the growing stops. Yes. And you never want to stop growing. You yeah. you constantly want. I mean, um. The, the 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 film that the what, what is it called how, how to, to ruin, ruin christmas, christmas? yeah christmas. so yeah when I th it was the wedding like, don't yeah, and what, that part, what's, the wedding. what's no it's, it's because for, so when how i even knew of the story yeah. not necessarily because i auditioned for it yeah but because um the casting director krista mm. called me to come and read mm. four actors yeah oh um, wow Yes. Yeah, I read. I <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You see that little law? You don't know. It's like, hey, I mean. Y'all ain't even know. How <laughs> to remember You know? Uh, which is something that, because sometimes, like, when you audition, 
And come to our and then the person who's reading for you is dying, 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 dying. Yeah, and dying. Terrible, and, man. And then and they make and, and that infringes on your performance. It does. So it's always amazing to have a fellow actor come and read. Like when I was auditioning for um for for something. <laughs> uh, my friend, my friend Lunko Johnson was there. Ah, yes. And there's a difference when you're when you're Definitely. when you're doing a self tape with someone who has never done acting before, song. and then now you're out here doing a self tape with someone who's just giving it. Giving to it. You know. And I think that's beautiful. And I'm I'm so proud because, as mentioned before, um, DP Oi. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hello, it, it, um, you guys are still on my set? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I went to school with DP and Swanky. They, yes. They're my juniors. I, yes. Sandile, I had the wonderful privilege of meeting yesterday, mm -hmm. I think, for the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I see you, you know. You see me? I see you too. You know, mm -hmm. and these are, in comparison to me, yeah. these are young yeah, actors yeah. in the industry. These, yeah. This is the next generation. Mm -hmm. I've not to say that I'm done, no. but I'm I'm not on their level. Yes. This is their time. This yes. is their time yeah. to do the yeah. most. I've Definitely. had my opportunities. I chose what I did with those opportunities, but it's also such an honor to still sit with um, young actors mm. who, even in conversation, are not here going yah yah, you know. <laughs> 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 What's that, girl? I, I don't know. What's that? I got it. I got it. I got it. It's, it's, I got what, it. it's what your I kids are it. doing. You don't talk. You don't it. use your it words. You're like, ah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's so um, fulfilling to sit with a group of young actors who are literally seizing every single opportunity as it comes and doing the most. Yeah. Um, when I was reading for that, it's so weird. At no point was I like, I'm auditioning yeah. because of yeah. now I can act. I was yeah. like, because that's the thing. Everyone has their season. I'm not saying my mm. season is over. Mm. It's a season. Everything yeah. is seasonal. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's, it's so fulfilling so to see trash. a group of young actors that I had the privilege of knowing yeah. who are doing amazing things. Mm. I've never been on a Netflix show. Me too, baby. I mean, if I was, it's because a show that I did a long, long time ago yeah, got and replayed now it's on, on Netflix. Netflix, but not as a Netflix original. Yeah. You know? Um, so firstly, guys, I'm proud of you, and you should definitely be proud of yourself. Yes. And I think more than anything, just know that, you know, um, with love comes inspiration. Yes. You will only be inspired by something that you love dearly. And then you will grow. And, and, and you know <laughs> what I'm saying? And, and, and in order for you to recognize the inspiration requires a certain level of growth. In closing, literally, give it a Taiwan. And then Rakwal. I want to know, I'm interested now, I'm interested in how to do it. How to ruin a Christmas wedding. What's the story about? Just like, a Just like a, a young two line, three lines. Well, uh, it's a beautiful holiday special that takes part that takes place in Christmas weekend. Um, what happens? Obviously, we know there's drama in families. You know, when we get together, Christmas, everybody gets together. There's always drama there. And so these two couples, oh, spoo, no beauty, spoo, spoo, twala, beauty, silo, decided to have a wedding on Christmas on Day. Christmas. Now, the sister decides to visit for the first time in a while, and she then decides, well, she doesn't decide, she, she <laughs> brings this with her, this energy of messing it up. And so she messes it up. So the whole weekend is basically the family is trying to make this thing work through their own differences and such. And, and you know, they try to look past whatever it is, and yeah. they try to make it work. Yeah. And that's the whole thing. And what was your favorite scene? <laughs> and then what? Yeah. So I broke a nail. Oh, <laughs> so so that that well, I broke a nail. The and he actually, was actually, like my yeah. controller person, and I kept switching this this Yo. this mm. one. I'm not gonna Yo. say what it is. This yeah. ornament around, and I broke it because I was so like Yo. passionate. Dude. And I just think where there's love, where there's inspiration, there's also a lot of passion, and sometimes violence. <laughs> Almost all the time. Almost they all the times. time because they come together. Yeah. And my favorite scene in that was just a show of love and passion and sometimes violence and it's it's hilarious. What you forgot to say it's a comedy. It in South Africa comedy. we love to laugh. Yes. 
we laughed at our troubles, we laughed at our traumas, we laughed at our pains. So um, you guys are going to laugh. You guys are going to yeah. experience Christmas, yeah. and you guys are going to experience my favorite scene, which I cannot give to yes. detail, otherwise yes. you won't watch it. Yes. So it's something like that. Nice, guys. Yeah. My favorite scene was, was you make kiss the bride. Okay. Were you the one kissing the bride? Rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> rest, 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 r